Starting off with, okay, Darkrai versus uh, Scizor, whose eye is apparently yellow. We were having a debate over that, we couldn't remember. But uh, yeah, in case you're wondering, his eye is yellow. <laughs> the kind of plays that one interesting Darkrai who has uh, some desire to get a knight removed, but it's not his concern. Uh, he he's all right. He feels pretty safe just playing Darkrai, plain vanilla. Uh, most people call this incomplete Darkrai, but Scissors gets in after being super patient, trying to dodge or block all those projectiles. Uh, she's got a Diglett, which is okay, but it doesn't charge fast enough to be a whole lot of help right now. Yeah, Pekano's already got a Mulga. Alright, there we go. Ariel, is U-turn coming out? Uh, Pekano's feeling pretty safe in the corner. Unfortunately, he gets pushed in the corner by Scissor. Scissor whiffing some of those attacks, but coming back pretty good. Gotta, gotta be careful of those uh, Warples. Counters through that. <laughs> Alright, Kakana coming back pretty strong and countering some stuff. See that? I feel like. Yeah. They're doing it pretty even right now, I, I guess. Yeah. This is totally bring us back. She just gets the right combo, or gets the right counter call. Yeah, gets hit by the nasty plot war po uh, portals. And Picano will take the first round. Cubone and Fennekin, I guess they're both running standard. Well, Scissors could pick either one. I think she gets both uh, for her cheer. Anyway, she's having a hard time getting in from uh, these uh, crazy amounts of projectile spam, which uh, Picano has every right to do because this is where Dark Rice Storm is, shield phase. Fennekin's only kind of going to help a little bit. Okay, it does. Because this is not able to guard attack. He's dominating. I kind of was dominating this field phase. He probably could just left it in there the entire game, but I think, uh... I don't know. I mean, he was just getting bored. Alright, that's not gonna hit because we kind of flop pushed on the ground. And that's not a true punish by any means, I, but, uh, weird geekiness with not actually being blocked by it. Or blocking it. Fully charged Dark Void will go through shield. kyle has got this in the bag if he just goes ham. I was gonna say it plays correctly, but going ham I guess is playing correctly right now. It works though. And Doc in bad dreams mode it works. Ha ha ha. Yeah. We got on that debate and uh, I'm probably gonna keep calling it bad dreams because that's like his like ability in the main games I think. And it says that in the game. So But, you know, bad dreams is synonymous with nightmares, so go figure. Uh, so this is bringing out Suicune now. I believe this was her first main, I think. Her Suicune's pretty cool. No pun intended. If she can just keep uh, the game at the correct range... Cause now she's got better projectiles than mess with Mikano. Or by better, I guess I mean actual projectiles. This is playing pretty safe, jumping over these budget tasks pretty well, but uh, Suicune's counter frames do not do him a lot of favors even though it does propel him forward. Kind of bring this back in the field. For some reason choosing to go in on Suicune, though it doesn't really have to kind of... I guess he kind of does, because Suicune could theoretically just body all this stuff with Mirror Coat. Especially in field. Anyway, Scissors will bring this back to field with a grab. Catching up to Kano's defensive playstyle. And he really likes the counter button, so it's really not a bad button to push against Mikado. Alright. Oh, uh, paralyzing Mikado in fear with that blizzard. And so this will take this round of the second game. Mikado counter dash keep. Uh, Going through those project tiles with counter. Amolga versus Amolga, and they just go through each other, and now we know. Isn't that great? Kind of blocking Blizzard. This is not near, near, near close enough to grab, so choosing not to. Oh, same. Whiff grab. 
He really wants that grab. Kato is admittedly hitting a lot of counters, and of course Nazi Plot is, is a counter, so... Her odds were pretty good. We're kind of doing the 2x works, 2x works. <laughs> he does he does it all the way until phase shift, which is a blessing and a curse. Because the damage scale is pretty hard. You usually don't want to do it more than uh, one two or two two x's to two four x's, and then you want to do something else. Depending on your phase shift. Mirror coat does not catch that. Because Picano is just going ham. And really Dark Rates projectiles up close aren't great, so. Yeah, mirror code does not help you that close. It would have been really nice from far away though. But you really gotta just pay attention and call stuff out or not call stuff out, react to stuff. Icy wind will help out uh, scissors over here. Clones will burst too far away from Suicune, and Suicune will take this into dual phase. This is of course match point for Picano. Blizzard will catch that preemptive counter. This is doing pretty well this round. A really nice lead. Extra sitting a full burst. Although Picano will probably get it pretty soon. Alright, Picano's just sitting on burst, and I think he realizes he's not in like a scare position, and now he kinda is because he's this close. Not a night mode, so his burst is gonna be weakened. That is going to catch, and he might be dead. He is dead! And Scissors will take this game. Now go 1 1. Alright, Picano breaking out breaks in, which this is interesting. If Scissors can mirror coat Picano's sheen tomfoolery, like, she has this in the bag, but it's not exactly a, fl a, a I don't know, a brainless science, whatever you want to call it. You gotta really react to stuff. And, see, mirror coat might have helped. I don't actually know mirror coat's properties, like, it's a multi hit project, how did the other project house come in? I don't know. But anyway. Despite Picano taking a field phase, he got hit pretty hard by that blizzard, and now this is pretty even at this point. Decides to take everything back into field with a ton of phase shift points. And that that cannot be mirror code, that's the hard part. She hits, she, she hits boomerang and then bad things are gonna happen. The sisters could probably invest in the follow-up from counterattack should it confirm, but uh, I'm not sure I could even react to that. Set counter comes in late enough to punish blizzard. Picando's going super ham. Fennekin's probably not gonna- okay. Maybe the eye frames will save her? I'm not sure. No, it does not. Picando being like, I use the support. I know how to die. I know how to die with it. I can kill people who use it. Trading projectiles. And they're just playing a projectile pong or something. Preemptive Blizzard will get hit, or Preemptive Counter will get hit by Blizzard, but that will not. Aurora Beam's incredibly slow startup will get punished. Counter will get grabbed by Picano. It's pretty even. I'm not entirely sure uh, Fire Swing would be here, but that'd be something to look into. Kura, that's very smart decision. Just use that burst when you get out of jail free. This will not kill, but it sure tilts somebody sideways. Okay, that? Okay, so Suikun's burst, I believe, is a counter. It'll reach all the way over there. This is gonna hurt. Holy crud. What is this gonna do? Okay, so it didn't kill him, but it did a lot. I was, I would have been surprised if it didn't kill. Okay, that blizzard's gonna miss, because he can just walk sideways. That hit? Good job countering. Soak up all that boomerang uh, hit frames. Unfortunately, Scissors has exhausted her burst. We'll have to try not wait for support. Has support, but Picano's sitting on full burst, and he can just go with ham. All of the ham in the world. Now, this is gonna use it for support already a little soon, but at least she'll get it back before the round is up. See, Sui Kun probably could have punished that somehow. I don't know if she was too close to back up and hit it, but Sui Kun has an arsenal of lasers that he can use while Wallop Fennec can use it. 
Kind of laying on the pressure, laying on the projectiles, laying on the fear. Alright, Blizzard will reach over all that shenanigans. Kind of still is burst. Good job punishing that, uh... What the heck is that, 8x? Anyway, it's punishable. Don't let that happen. Don't let that not happen to you. Grab that stuff. Okay, interesting exchange. So this is countering a little bit too much because Picano is a. Uh, if he's not hitting counter, he's hitting grab. That's how he plays. Is there a beam of light? I don't know, but that didn't work. A very stylish dash back to get a crit hit on scissors, and Picano will take the game 2 1. 